Hey. Hey. <laughs> we are so glad that you have chosen to join us for not the first, but the second. Woo! World premiere, middle school, high school, youth group, infomercial, going to be nominated for an Emmy this year. I can just feel it. I can just feel it. And so we want to talk to you tonight, what would normally be our parent youth information night, and also followed by ice cream sundaes. We're not able to do ice cream sundaes this year again, but we got a sweet treat for you. So you got to keep watching from now until the end to get in on that deal. But right now, I know you want to know, what are we going to be doing this year? So enough from me. Libby, what are we doing this year in middle school? Well, one thing, let me take this off since we're distanced. Uh, one thing we're going to focus on a little bit this uh, year in middle school is the thought of squads. Because some of the years that we have really, really had a lot of fun in middle school, they've kids have sort of felt like a squad to each other. Like they're really glad to see each other every Sunday night. They might go to four or five different schools. We feed in from all different school districts, but there's that feeling of unity. So I wanted to see if you two could fill in a couple of names of squads and you two mark behind the camera. I'm gonna start with an easy one. Who was the squad in the Wizard of Oz? I'll give you the Tin Man. The lion. The lion. Scarecrow. Scarecrow. I only had a Dor Dorothy. Dorothy. Very good. Very good. That was a squad and maybe Toto. He was there. How about the three stooges? I'll give you Mo. Larry. Curly. There you go. There's another squad. Uh, how about Pac-Man? There's Inky. Oh. Blinky. Yep. Mark. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. <sighs> now there's one more squad, the Scooby-Doo Gang. I'm going to give you Daphne. If, middle schoolers, you can come and you can tell me the other four members of the squad and the Scooby-Doo Gang, or if you can name the Stranger Things squad, I'll give you 11 for that one. I will have a special treat for you on September 19th. Awesome. Another thing, let's see. Most parents should have gotten things from middle from me. Um, you should have gotten a letter and a registration form and a fall schedule. So basically, we are meeting on Sunday nights. We're meeting the same time as the high school youth group. We both meet from 5 to 6 on Sunday nights this fall. So we're hoping to get you home in time for dinner and last minute homework if you have it. Um, a couple of times on September 26th, we're going to have a picnic at my house, and on November 7th, we're going to have a bonfire at my house, and both of those nights go an extra half hour. So parents, I just want to make sure and get this registration form back from you. We are not feeding the kids dinner, but I will have snacks for them, so if there are any allergies, I need to know about that, and I need your email address because that's how I keep in touch with you, and especially with things changing um, this year sometimes in the schools and stuff. I just I want to give you reminders as to what we'll be doing each week and also let you know about any changes. I think that's about it for me. All right. Hey, I'm going to talk with you now a little bit about our high school uh, youth group. And uh, as Libby mentioned, we are going to be meeting uh, on Sunday evenings here at the church from 5 to 6 p.m. Our plans uh, for both those groups, we are hoping, weather permitting, to meet outside. So always dress accordingly and be ready for outdoor meetings. If weather is not conducive to that and if we need to meet inside, then we're going to look to go in one of our larger meeting spaces. So that could be Fellowship Hall, that could be the sanctuary, that could be a uh, youth room or the third floor room or, or somewhere that we can uh, create a safe space to gather together. Um, we are regarding masks. We will follow the mask protocols that are set forth by the session, which as of this taping uh, today uh, is currently requiring masking and distancing for indoor activities, regardless of vaccination status due to the rise in COVID numbers. Just a bit later in this infomercial, we're going to talk to you about how we're going to handle if one of your schools uh, goes to remote learning because of a rise in COVID cases. But here's, here's a simple rule of thumb. 
we're all used to it by now. Bring a mask with you and uh, on the event that we will need to wear it when we are gathered together. Again, youth groups will meet uh, from five to six here at the church. We are in person, uh, outside, weather permitting. If not, we'll be inside. Uh, again, like Libby said, no dinners this year. Uh, we're hoping that that early meeting time is going to allow youth to be home in time for uh, dinner with the family. Um, there is no cost uh, to youth groups this year. Uh, with regard to high school, along with middle school, we are planning to hold in-person Sunday school during the 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. hour on Sunday mornings upstairs on the third floor in the youth room. And, um, and I think middle school middle is... Middle school is going to be upstairs in Paidea House. Right. So across the alley in the top of that building, in third floor of Paidea House, will be middle schoolers. Right. Another thing that's changing this year is that we're not having people come to this... Um, we're not having the kids come in here to sing the praise set at the uh, contemporary worship service. We've done that for years and years. But again, because of COVID and distancing and just trying to figure it all out and make sure that there is enough room in the sanctuary for, for the other worshipers, um, kids are just gonna go right to Sunday school at 9.30. They should be in their Sunday school rooms at 9.30 this year until further notice. All right. Excellent. Again, we are hoping to be in person. Our plan is to be in person as much as we can. If we ever need to go online at any point, those details will be emailed and shared uh, with you and your families, again, through email uh, or uh, Facebook pages uh, of that nature, or perhaps even Sunday morning worship announcements. So um, always be worshiping on Sunday morning. You never know what you're going to learn when you come into worship. Um, so that, that's some of uh, our plans for uh, high school youth group. Uh, like Libby said, um, these should be in your you know, email inboxes by the time you're watching this video, uh, or they'll be also online on the church website. But we have a youth registration uh, form for the high schoolers. Uh, I also have a, a parent youth, uh, parent support form. Uh, super easy. Um, no dinners this year, so uh, we don't need to worry about you cooking. Uh, but if you'd be willing to provide those wrapped individual snacks, snack foods or something, um, click yes or no um, and get that back to me. Um, maybe if we drove somewhere to do some offsite thing, would you be willing to drive uh, your child to and from those events? Um, if we needed uh, extra uh, folks around to kind of chaperone a, a larger group activity to keep an eye on folks, would you be willing to be contacted for that? Um, also, as every year, we also have uh, the media opt-out form. Um, this will be online. It'll also be emailed to you. This is to be returned only if you do not, do not wish for your child um, photo or likeness to be posted uh, on Facebook or uh, some sort of social media outlet um, with regard to, uh, to church ministries. Um, typically, uh, we, we, we don't use names or anything like no, that of youth. We will just simply say, here's the, here's the high school group doing this, or here's the, the middle school group doing this. So if you do not want yeah. your child uh, to be included in any of those posts, then you will return the media opt-out form to us. Um, that's, in a nutshell, what high school youth group is going to be doing. And so uh, now, Jamie, uh, what, what's music doing? Well, music is doing some really great things this year. So we are, hi everyone, we're going to be uh, rotating monthly. Like every other month, we're going to run a youth choir and, uh, and youth bells, and maybe sometimes even try to combine some of them. Uh, so just trying to make it really flexible, and I actually have... Um, I made you something to remember. Gotta get my phone like you guys. So the music program is going to be flexible and fun and fulfilling, and you're gonna have friends from all the schools in the area, and it's gonna be fantastic music. So if you um, are someone who loves to perform, this is the group for you. If you're nervous about it, come anyway. It's a really good time. Well, I, um, a couple of the first songs I have planned, there's a song, it's uh, called Order My Steps, and the other song I have planned is um, Lord Send Your Spirit, and they're really really fun and upbeat like just listen to it so it'll be lord send your spirit <clears throat> lord send your glory doesn't that just make you feel good that's the fulfilling part of those five f's so that's what is going to happen and um so each month i'm going to be communicating what is going on so that's the flexible part so if you're thinking 
I'm so busy, I've got a lot going on. I know you guys have so much going on. So I'm trying to just offer something each month. And if you wanna check it out, you can just come for that month. You can come every month. And then you come the first month and you're like, that Miss Jamie at GPC, she has a rockin' music program and I wanna tell all my friends about it. So my email and my uh, cell phone number will be available to you and your families. And like Pastor Lou said, we're going to keep following GPC's guidance with masking so we can use the sanctuary space, we can spread out a lot, and we're just going to have a lot of fun and sing music to praise the Lord and perform. So I really hope that you join us. And if you are someone who just really, really loves having the weekly performance, you can uh, talk to me about joining some of our other adult ensembles that meet on a more like consistent weekly basis. But uh, I'm really looking forward to working with all of you. There's so many of you that I can't wait to perform with. So hope you check it out. Thanks, Jamie. Hey. I forgot that um, one of the things we're going to be doing with uh, High School Fellowship is we're going to continue to work using uh, some journals and whatnots. Uh, so last year, you may recall, if you were able to be part of uh, our times together, we had given out these journal kits. And so we'll have journal kits if you still need one. If you have one from last year, uh, continue to bring that down with you. Uh, each week, we'll probably be doing some work in and through those kits to kind of track our faith and where we're at and, and how we're growing and, and things just to keep reminding ourselves about. So continue with the journal kits. Uh, also, again, at the end of this video, up on the screen, you'll have some information about how to get uh, forms and information. But uh, really, if you just go to the church website and you go to the ministries drop down menu, and then you can click from there, either middle school ministry or high school ministry. Uh, and then you can find the different forms uh, you'll need uh, to get there that you can download, uh, fill out and return. Or, you know, if you forget uh, which refrigerator magnet you put it under, you can just go ahead and print out a brand new schedule and then you're good to go all year long um, now here's the here's the, here's the one question um, regarding that I said I'd give you an answer to uh, regarding if one of our school districts uh, has to go to remote learning because they have positive cases that are going on in their school um, and so here's the plan for that in the event that a meeting falls over a weekend when one of our schools has gone to this remote learning due to positive test cases, uh, we will still plan to meet in person. However, what we will do is we will require masks to be worn regardless of what the church's mask protocols are at the time, uh, just in order to create that, that safe distance and that safe space for one another and be part of the community. So um, again, like I said before, uh, bring a mask with you each time. Um, I, you know, I kind of, if you ever see me going to Giant, um, you'll see me walking in, just get to the door and then I'll go, ah, oh, and then I'll turn around and go back because I remember I forgot my mask in the car. So that's me, just the, oh, and I go back. So, all right, that's the bad joke that you just laugh at. Um, and as the kids in the youth group like to say, the jokes don't get any funnier. We just have to laugh louder because then it um, dissuades Lou from telling anymore. So, all right, so that's how you get the downloads in that. In just a moment, we're going to offer a closing prayer, and we're going to send you into the rest of the day. However, we did say that we would give you a chance to win a sweet treat. A sweet treat. So here's what we're going to do, because last year we did this, and it was, it was overwhelmingly successful. I, I mean, it, we, we almost crashed the Internet. That's how successful it was. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. In just a moment... Libby, Jamie, and I are going to take up different positions up here, and we're going to point. We're going to point to a center section. That's your cue, because we're going to hold that for, you know, 5, 10, 20, 20 seconds, <laughs> a year, whatever. And then you're going, to, you're going to place yourself on your home screen, kind of like right here in the center. You know, strike your pose, you know, like this, or oh, oh, mm, whatever, whatever you want to do. You do you. That's okay, but you're gonna hashtag it, GPC Youth Groups Rock. Hashtag GPC Youth Groups Rock. Youth Groups Rock. And you get someone to take the picture of you between on that stage photo, then you're gonna email that to us with the hashtag, and then we're gonna send you a sweet treat. Make sense? If it doesn't, you got at least 10 seconds to figure it out. Okay. Okay. All right, in um, three, 
two, one, hold the pose. That's murder on the quads, by the way. All right, so um, we are so excited. We're looking forward to a great year. We hope you are too. Um, tonight's the drop of the video. We start September 19th. We start September 19th and we cannot wait to see you. Absolutely, absolutely. So I'm gonna offer a closing prayer. We're gonna um, say, bid you adieu. And then uh, again, download those uh, forms, get those back to us. We'll see you at uh, five o'clock on, um, starting September 19th. So let's, uh, let's have a quick word of prayer. Ever-loving God, we are grateful uh, for yet another chance to grow together, to be your hands and feet at work in this world, to, um, to be part of those squads of faith. So bless this year, bless us, and bless our times together. All this we ask and all this we pray as we place our faith and our trust in you. For you are the one who promises to be with us forever and for always. And for that, we are truly grateful. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. We cannot wait to see you.